Dampier, but I don't really think it was Dampier that won the SG the games. I, I think it was a factor, and Dampier's kind of one of those punishing heroes that if you mess up versus him, he's going to snowball and take over the game. Yeah. But, you know, they're just like, screw it. We don't want to play against it. We want to play it ourselves. We're just going to first pick it. Yeah. Well, so, you know, Haxron, obviously, I'm sure, going to have his hands on that eventually. Uh, again, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, that, that is the that's the go-to hero this series, I think it's safe to say. That's definitely stood out. Obviously, Stay Green getting into those first two games as you were commentating on. But uh, now for Stay Green, they're going to first pick that Engineer in response. And there's the Warby still from TMSR. You also talked about that the first game. How they went the Kraken, I think. You know, the likely that they're probably not going to be going the Warbeast. They didn't in the end. They go out here. This is a traditional TMSR hero in Warbeast. Casey oh, yeah. plays it very well. I like what they've done with their draft so far. The uh, SG are most certainly going to try lane against the Dampier. And with this Warbeast pick, it's going to help their try lane combat the SG try lane pretty easily. Warcry Tempest. is a big difference maker. Oh, but they just go Tempest. The SG's like, you know what? We're okay. You guys can have da farm and Dampier. We're going to address him at the... Uh, Maybe the seven minute mark, the eight minute mark. We're gonna let you have the early game, the the first six minutes of free farm. Yeah. Well, you know, it's also interesting listening Andromeda. to the predictions there of uh, of, uh, of our expert fan, oh, especially from Rise area. He feels it feels a TMSR maybe maybe coming back here in uh, in game number three again. Maybe a little bit with a joking sense there, but uh, for the most part, it sounds like everyone thinks stay green. They are up to nothing. Obviously, they got all the momentum in the world right here. It would be a hell of a feat if TMSR is, is able to even remotely start to come back, but. Hey, okay, one, one game at a time. And Tromina and then into Flux. So, oh, no. Oh, no. Lions I, I had was, to deal with this yesterday. Uh-huh. Man, good. I was going to say I love the Andro pick. They picked Tempest. It's a good support to deal with Tempest. But I, I fear if whoever plays this Andro player is going to look like a fool in this game. <laughs> That's a tough combo, man. I mean, again, we saw it yesterday against the Lions in that game one, I believe it was. And holy crap. I mean, Lions was in a good advantage in that game one, but it came down to this combination right here, having these three heroes specifically, Tempest and Flux alone, but then you throw an Engineer on top of that as well. It, it, it gets brutal. So uh, what can you do? I mean, so your TMSR, you, you see the cards to an extent now. How do you respond to this? Uh, split push. Never take a single team fight in the entire game until you have shrunken heads. Yeah. You don't take a fight unless SG messes up or you have an early game advantage. But just don't fight till you have shrunken heads. That's basically a split push, split push, split push. Ban the push heroes. Um, what did they ban on Legion? It's the uh, second phase. Hag right here so far. I would like to see Balfour banned. Um, hmm. The band bubbles because he's a hero that can capitalize off split push. He can set ganks up. They ban corrupted disciple, huh? I don't like these bands. I I would like to just ban heroes that allow. Or at least I don't like the CD ban. I think they should just ban heroes so they so they can just split push for ages yeah. and make it so they don't have to defend their towers. Well, they are going to be going those, and then fade is the final band coming out from. Uh, stay green so they get those mid heroes taken care of themselves or at least the ones that they were looking at but uh, so now for TMSR again if they're going for that split push mindset here um, they still need that mid hero of course maybe something like a rally here wouldn't be out of the question Ravener still on the board you got prisoner he still has interest I'm sure um, you know Insania actually brought up the point about Pharaoh last game actually might have been the better suicide option for them uh, do you think Pharaoh here is a possibility or would they already have the Warby suicide I mean I was listening to that a little bit, and you know, the, the, if they wanted to do an aggressive dual lane in Pharaoh mid, that could have worked, but I don't really like Pharaoh in this kind of situation. You're dealing with Flux, NG, Tempest. Like, yeah, sure, you can have this one hero that just sits out, cancel Tempest hole, but there's still a lot of other stuff just going on in the middle of the team, but I don't think that's a good uh, solution to the, yeah. the Flux issue. Well, this is going to be interesting again. The, the TMSR, like I said, they, they, they see the cards here. They know what to really expect. To an extent, at least, coming out from Stay Green with that strong, strong, strong team fight just with those three heroes alone. So how do they work off of it? They do get the rally pick up again. So they got that middle lane. Um, uh, well, they still need their last support now, you'd figure. Uh, Torturer, Pyromancer, Aluna, if those three supports, maybe even Glacius. I mean, uh, is there one that really stands out? They need a counter pusher. Pyro, Aluna is good. Glacius is good. I wouldn't go with Tord at all. He's good for split push. But you need a good counter push support. You already picked Rally, Dampier. These two heroes don't really provide much counter push. Yeah. Andromeda's okay with the minus armor on, on his Aurora, but not really that good. Um, 
SG, I'd like to see maybe like a Torp pick or a Balfagor in the short lane, maybe even a Slither. But uh, we'll just have to see how they. Maybe they'll just take this into the late game with their combo, with their uh, Lux combo. And you pick up Ravener right there. That's kind of a so. So Flux is Flux going to end up in the short lane then? You think, or maybe a short lane Rav here? Or? Um, I think they'll do NG Ravener mid, and then they could potentially maybe do a Suicide Flux or a short lane Flux. Yeah. Uh, so my gut is telling me it's going to be a short lane Flux and a Suicide um, Wild Soul. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh, Wild Soul. We haven't seen Wild Soul in a while. Feels like it. But uh, stay green. Now their final pick. They do go torture, by the way. That was the one where you're like, I eh, probably don't want to go him. Yeah, I don't really like the tort here. I, I they they get it for the counter push, like the split push potential. Like, but I think you you don't really have anyone that clear creep waves. Yeah. Like unless tort doesn't go impale, but that's kind of the reason you go tort is for the impale yeah. stun or the impalement, not a, it's not a stun. But uh. I feel like she's going to go with some carry potential here. They could go a little bit more all in. Let's say maybe a Slither pick or maybe another Team Fight Hero, but I, I think they're going to pick a carry for Chessie. Yeah. Seems like, I mean, they've got 20 seconds more still remaining here, obviously, in terms of uh, the extra time. So just a map. Balfagor. Oh, man. There's the Balfagor. You even said the idea of possibly banning that. In the next year of bans, they did not, and now they have to deal with it. Balfagor coming out. Okay, so what what are the lanes then from State Green? So Flux Suicide, I guess. Uh, or Ravener Suicide, even. I mean, I would imagine a Flux Suicide in a, a short lane Balfagor and then a Ravener Engineer middle. Yeah. And I would expect TMSR to put uh, Andrew Dampier short lane with Rally Tort mid. All right. Well, we'll see what uh, what Stinkin ultimately does here, but obviously, I mean, you just look at that lineup, man. You just look at that lineup, and it is scary. It, it's TMSR. They got to be pretty frightened of that. Uh, we definitely know what uh, what Balfour especially brings to the table. We've seen it before with Chelsea playing a couple cycles ago now, but it has been done, and it has been a very, very powerful. This team fight is just ridiculous over here on State Green. So, so many factors. That TMSR has to be worrisome of it. And it really does go back to the lack of counter push. It does show on TMSR. It really does. I mean, Rally, you know, okay, but he has to compel forward. To, he puts himself in bad position. You never really want to do that. Well, he can compel out, too. That Don't forget too, that. Yeah. But if he's counter pushing, like, by himself, he's going to get caught. You kind of want a hero that can just throw his spells out at long distance and just be like, all right, guys, you go you go take the, some towers while I just slow the push down. Yeah. I would have preferred to see the, uh, probably Naluna as the last pick, but maybe they didn't think SG was going to go like this all-in push, but yeah, it's an option you had to consider. Like, I, I called it from probably, what, the, I called it from before the ban, like, as the banning stage happened, you know, they had options to go, like, late game, you know, they also had options to go mid game, and t with the last pick here, uh, available to them, and TMSR kind of opened themselves up to, like, an early game push strategy, because they don't have much counter push, they're really lacking. Torch should honestly not go impalement this game and go bonds, or they're gonna have no answer to the push. Yeah, that's and like you're saying, it's it's the idea that torture. You usually want to build that impalement on him, but you know might, they might be forced in this game to to go the agonizing bonds, which is I, I think I think it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world it's by any means. Deal. Yeah, you do have to keep in mind though that tort with the with the chain reaction and the bonds is also just a good counter pusher. It's a lot of AOE magic damage. Yeah, it is. It, yeah. It definitely is. So, concern there, but uh, TMSR, I mean, they, they do have power themselves. They, they, they got they got the Suicide of War Beast. Again, they, they, we talk about this, this split push idea that they like to do, and they kind of that uh, they got the, the couple of carry potentials between Dampier and War Beast, of course. Having the Aurora will be good for especially the War Beast, and even Dampier as the game picks up. So, there is potential by all means for too much sugar, but again, you just see this draft. We saw the power of it against Lions just yesterday, and that was without a Balfour, an extra extra pushing hero uh, to assist on top of that. So, kind of well. You also what... keep in mind Balfour is an insane team fighter with the Hell yeah. on the Earth. He has an a what an AOE silence on the demonic pathogen. Yeah, that's that's actually an ability I think is under underrated even. I mean, again, we don't see this hero every game by any means, but even when, when we do see like, Hell on New Earth, I've always said it, I think that's one of the coolest animations of the game. So, you know, we, we think of that ability is great for team fight. Obviously, his minions are great. They regurgitate happening. But, yeah, the Demonic Pathogen, it's, it is a very strong silencing tool 
that it's almost you don't really you don't realize it as much as a spectator, but if you're playing against it, I'm sure it is very noticeable. It is a very strong tool. They have two forms of silence on their team. They have engineer field. They have Chessie's pathogen. Uh, they just have a good team play composition, but there is always a thing is if TMSR can drag the game, this game will be a strategy based game. It's gonna be, who can execute the strategy better? TMSR is looking to split push yeah. and trade towers, maybe get picks when they can, but they do not want to take team fights until they have at least two shrunken heads on the two core heroes, being Warbeast and uh, Dampier. Yeah. Like, unless SG makes a mistake, then <laughs> sure they can, but like 5v5, no team fights until they have two shrunken heads on those heroes. Yeah. Yeah, and, that, that takes a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of farm. Yeah. I mean, Dampier is going to be looking to have what I think ten thousand, twelve thousand net worth before he's ready to take team fight. Mm -hmm. And Kazu a little bit less, but around Kazu will want about six thousand, maybe eight thousand. If it depends if he goes a, a shrunken head rush or abyssal skull first. Yeah. Do you, or think, unless it's, uh, do you think it, it will be the shrunken head first? I mean, does he need it that badly, or can he still go the abyssal? Uh, I'm not sure. It, maybe it depends on the pacing of the game. Yeah. Uh, this early game. What is this rally doing? Yeah, it's a little bit interesting. Seeing is it gonna be? I maybe it's two one two. Yeah, two one two. Interesting. So that's how they're gonna try to man up here. They're gonna have uh, Warby solo mid against the initial engineer flux, but obviously not sure if that's gonna stick necessarily or engineer uh, Raven, I should say. But what are we seeing? Ravener's hanging around up here, actually, still. So, Balfagor is Balfagor gonna jungle? No. No, that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> no, he's just cutting trees down for Tempest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I I know I've heard of it before a long time ago. <laughs> it kind of just it, it just shot at me. But yeah, they have a Tempest, and yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. If SG noticed this uh, dual lane long lane, or they they smell it out, it could be really disastrous because uh. Balfagor in the mid lane? Actually, uh, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't think this dual lane long lane is going to hurt them or really affect them positively much. Huh. So they send the Ravener NG top. They got, yeah, Balfagor is going to be in that mid. So they're just going to match it with the uh, the two man lane top. Obviously, Tempest is going to be up there as well. It's kind of a pseudo trial lane coming out. No, Rally is a good partner to have, obviously, in this case, uh, for saving with the Compel, but... It's, this is going to be fun to see how this one shapes up now, as far as this laning phase. Uh, nothing was really certain going into it, and that shows right here. As far as that's concerned, the, the bottom lane, the Flux Suicide, I mean, that was kind of expected, and he is going to be mashed up against Andromeda Dampier down here, so... At least Dampier should have a good start. Dampier should free farm, but I don't think Andrew will build his zone out of Flux. Flux has pulled regen. He's very tanky naturally. So I think Limp will do just fine in this bottom lane. Yeah. Yeah, you see how much life he has. He has the two crushing claws. We usually see that. That on top of the minor totems. Already at 739 life. <laughs> That's a level one. So, yeah, quite the, quite the life pool there for Flux coming out. So. Yeah, Limp also just a great player in his own right. So we'll see how that goes out. We do see Andromeda applying some good harassment right here. But again, Andromeda needs to be careful herself. He can't can't just charge in there and expect it to be okay. He has to fall back too and force to use his own regen right there. Pulling at the top lane. He stacked it initially, and then he does the double stack pull up here. The Z Freak. So his brother in the meantime going to tank the creeps at the tower. Tortured Rally going to try to get creep kills where they can, but... Obviously, the lane positioning looking to be pretty strong here for Stay Green so far. Yeah, you know, Stay Green in the top lane, they're just looking to get ahead in terms of experience and gold in this 2v2 situation. Yeah. That's why he's pulling now. Lane control isn't the most important thing. Whereas Tank Effect in the bottom lane is more about trying to keep lane control. He's going to wait till it's a triple stack to pull. Mm -hmm. Again, guys, just to reiterate, $12,000 in totals on the line here. For these two teams, seventy-five hundred dollars for first place, thirty-five hundred for second place. So you still get some decent money if you lose here in the end, but obviously a big difference, four thousand dollar difference. Bottom line, Bloodlust Kill gonna come out right there. Damn, Pierre able to do enough damage, and Andromeda assisting with the stun. Of course, he didn't even level up his Aurora there before that kill, but it doesn't matter. I guess he hit level two when he died anyway. So, anyways, they get the kill. Beautiful start, and actually middle lane now. Haste and Torture are coming in. Warby's not the greatest assisting partner for this kill. And I don't know if it's going to be enough. Yeah, Regurgitate comes out. That's not going to be a kill. 
And Chessie will be fine in the end. But bottom lane, Dampier getting that Bloodlust kill on top of taking out the Flux Suicide there. That, that's a big start for Too Much Sugar. Yeah, you know, I didn't really think Flimp could die, but I guess Warcry level 2 made a big difference. It's, it has yeah. a lot more auto attack damage. And uh, looks like TMSR are doing a rotation. They don't feel like Tor can lane top without, you know, probably dying. So they're just like, you know, Rally had a good start. He's uh, level 3. He can probably stay up here mm -hmm. to rotate Tor mid, win the lane for our. Our um, war beast. <laughs> this yeah. is weird. Yeah, see, we just has to do this a couple of times with the minions. He keeps trying to block, but yeah, what is? This is weird. Flux is not joining, so he's just gonna support mid. Blim huh. feels like he can't lean bottom anymore and do the death. He'll probably just keep feeding. So might as well put a middle, get some experience. It's really all he needs is a flux, and this allows engineer to stay top to zone out the rally slash maybe some kill potential. Yeah, this is not the. <laughs> it looks like a pub match here. I mean, Torture Warbeast versus Balfagor Flux. It's not a, not a combo back to see going at, a, at one another here in the middle lane. But that has what it's, it's adjusted to. That's for sure. I mean, the Flux Balfagor is pretty strong. The uh, Tort Warbeast is the ones that have to be worried. Yeah. <laughs> Inside jokes. Inside jokes. Top Down lane. <laughs> What's up? No, I'm not. It was nothing. I was just gonna make a bad joke. You, you keep going on, Breaky. Torture actually might be in some trouble. Double damage. Temp is coming in. The minions are charging as well. They're gonna try to block him off, doing a little bit of that, and they do get the kill in the end. Chessie getting credit for the kill right there, actually with the minions. So well played by him. In the meantime, he was actually going for the bottom rune right there while that happened. So he's doing a good job of micro rune right there. Able to get the kill. So torture trying to top rune protect did not work out in the end. Cost um, his life. Team are pushing bottom tower because Flux is not there, but uh, this will open up Flux to get the tower some experience after the tower dies, which is good for him. But if, if uh, say, Damp here gets his tower, he'll have a really early life brand, allowing him to just go straight to the jungle. Yeah. The Legion there you has go. destroyed a Hellborn tower. Running it for the Legion team. 485 gold per minute for him, actually. And Casey is actually doing very well here in the middle lane. 390 gold per minute, especially after that tower kill. That's, damn, I mean, 32 and one creep farm. He, he must be near perfect, honestly. That that actually is pretty damn good. Pretty um, damn good. I would like to note that, okay, so he's gonna go Steam Boots first. I guess it's because there's no stacks in the jungle. If they had stacks in the jungle, they probably would've just gone a Light Brand Rush. Yeah. But uh, I guess because the mid lane support rotated to the mid lane really late. You, the left two camps aren't stacked. Tanka didn't really do much stacking in the jungle yet also, so uh, this strategy could have been a little executed a little bit better, but in the end it probably won't matter. Flux is in danger bottom. He is. They're going to dive on him. Port's coming in. Doesn't matter. Damper gets a kill. Now he was slow with the release before. A nice dodge with the keg's done. He's trying to go the other way. He's going to go for the TP. He's taking the towers at Dromeda, and a TP is so not successful! He dies mid TP right there. Oh no, Haxer, and he made an attempt. Went all in right there for it. Did not work out. That sucks, yeah. <laughs> uh, he was on intelligence too, just a slight mistake. Yeah. You know, he was going for the kill, swapped to intelligence because he needed the mana. He went for like a, the, the TP out. Maybe he actually needed mana for the TP, but that's just really True. unfortunate. I think that might have been the case because he dodged the Kex down and still for another two seconds it seemed like he was running around trying to just do something then he finally went for the TP. So I think it might have been shy of mana. Mm -hmm. Didn't notice that 100%. But uh, yeah, whatever the case, he dies kind of mid, mid flat right there and obviously you know that hurts. I mean, they did get the kill before though, so it's not the end of the world. But that is a good response at least coming out for State Green. Slowing him down a bit. So he talked about the idea that he went to the Steam Boots first. Doesn't really have the stacks going on from right now just yet, but eventually expect that to take place. Torture in the meantime, though, is is look at this. Hellhounds are assisting farm in the jungle while Keizu himself is actually stacking the ancients over here. So it's been a good micro gun out from Jesse. Solid micro as well from Keizu here. I, I can only assume that maybe Keizu is micro in it, but he probably shared control with Moon. That's not out of the question. Uh, rotation middle looks like they're gonna put suicide warbies rally toward mid. Yeah. It's who uh, knows. I mean, <laughs> they've been swapping around a lot right here. Yeah, rally is gonna eventually come though. So top lane, Ravener, how has he been doing? By the way, seems like he's been doing pretty good. Forty-one and twelve now. He's three hundred and ten gold per minute here. 
Off to a good start. Middle lane, though, they are pushing the tower now. The corpses are up from uh, from Balfagor here. And they are beating on that tower, dropping it quickly. Rally's nearby, so is Torture, but they're, uh, well, they're going to go for Torture maybe. Time it right. Well, nope, just a little too late. The Legion tower. Easy tower killing the end for Stay Green. Play to Greaves, by the way, first item for Balfagor here. Bulking up nicely early on. It's also good for pushing 20% additional damage to all the minions. Yeah. And they're going to steal the Ancients. Oh, oh, no. That hurts. That definitely hurts. You see uh, the minions, you know, they're taking them out of the secondary tower there on the Legion side, so they have no clue, really. I mean, the minion, the Hellhounds are actually going to come in and realize what's going on. They're coming over here now. They want to try to fight this, maybe, but they've already lost a bit of them. Stagrin still hanging around. Aurora's going to be used right there. Torture Rally and Andromeda are here. Warbeast is at the top lane in the meantime, and Dampier's bottom. So, yeah, they really can't feel comfortable stopping that, and that's just... That's just good play from State Green. They knew they had the advantage to take that, and they do. So that's a huge resource swing right there. It's a lot taken away from Dampier, especially. If that's who would have gotten them. So good steal and by State Green. Still no jungle stack, so Dampier doesn't really have anywhere that like he's doing farming well for 50, but he needs to explode more. They need to be able to, to stop the push from State Green, and the only way he's gonna do that is if he gets to the 600 GPM mark. Yeah. And you look at right here, they go right to their own agents, but actually double damage rallies coming in. They want some kills. Dampier here as well. They're not gonna find it though. They should be able to kill these though. Yeah. They should kill Get some right here. <laughs> Great move by TMSR. Yeah. They noticed the weakness, but SG's responding. So Kind of arc X down and hits Dampier. Will they be able to follow this? The ball lining just missed a swap from Andromeda as well. Tempest on the middle catches Andromeda. But that could have been much worse right there. So really not the worst deal in the end. That's a big ultimate used for just an Andromeda kill. And they will clean up the rest of the ancients. So <laughs> that was really close to being a lot, lot worse. Yeah, a good swap I think of it, but it's still worth it for uh, my nuts. You have to keep in mind that uh, team probably won't be taking team fights. So any cooldown you use for a kill is always worth it. Yeah. I do apologize, it's $11,000 on the line, <laughs> doing math wrong. Uh, so $11,000, I know I said $12,000 earlier, it's $11,000, the price split is correct, $7,500 and $3,500, as far as the uh, price split is concerned, so. But uh, but yeah, so they do clean up the rest of the Ancients right there. Dampier, the Life Brand, I, I believe he's got the Neophytes book at least, how's the Courier, nothing on the Courier, but yeah, so I'm purchasing the Neophytes book, so. Probably just waiting for the full thing at this point before actually going to deliver it. And well, he there just you go. bought it. Yep. Takes uh, right there. Team Asar is doing pretty good as it is right now. Resource control pretty even. Tower trading has been pretty even. They might get a tower top, but Limp is staying here to defend. SG's pushing bottom. You know, I think I, I don't think SG should have been allowed to take this bottom tier one. They have no tier one to port to, and if they had all five heroes respond bottom, this the could have been pretty easy tower defense for Team Asar. Yeah. And they're not really going to be able to get this middle one. I mean, they're still going to try for it, but now State Green's got the time. They're going to be able to rotate here. And you see Balfagar going the Energizer, by the way. How about that? Early Energizer uh, for him. Seems pretty solid, actually. Allowing your minions to get a lot more hits in the early game. Yes. Yeah. It does slow a lot more. I think it's actually a pretty smart pickup. Yeah, it, it makes sense. I mean, as you said, just especially for the minions and... Being able to just not only move quicker, but for the phase effect, being able to go through. So, solid, uh, solid pickup there coming out from Chessy, and you see the top lane's even thwarted off somewhat. Warbeast, uh, he has 1,500 gold saved up. So, again, still not exactly. Uh, he has a ring of two. They are going to initiate right here. By the way, ultimate's going to be used. Flux taking a lot of damage off the bat. Ball lightning, not going to matter. Down goes Flux. Great kill coming out from TMSR. But now Warbeast in a little bit of trouble. He is going to run back, though, still in Metamorphosis, and he will be fine in the end. So, Corpse Conversions, you see, <laughs> we got Balfour running on over. Cannot cut him off, though. They are going to push the tower, however, and we'll see. Uh, I don't think TMSR, will they be able to stop this? Probably not. No, they don't have the resources yeah. to. Though it's prob it's still worth it. Like, yeah, sure, it does leave open a tower kill for SG, but a hero kill is worth it. Release pressure from Dampier, allows him to farm his jungle safely. Push out the lanes. I think they should make it mid tower now. They probably will. The All right, so, yep, they will get that, but here goes tower. the secondary tower. Dropping quickly. Andromeda is here. But obviously, unless you get some backup, not going to expect anything to happen. What the hell is this archer doing? <laughs> this archer is flanking here at the top lane. 
Energy fill was used right there, by the way, and actually that will thwart off any uh, response, really, from TMSR. So the tower stays alive, barely. It's only at 390 life, but does live for oh. now in the end. So still pretty good for TMSR. One tower for one tower. They got a hero kill. They de they're delaying the game. That's really all they need to do. The name of the game is delay the game. Yeah. Don't fall behind. It's okay if they if Sagrian gets like one bonus tower here and there, but if they can just keep up most for the most part, they're in a good position. Hax is almost at 500 gold per minute, so you know they're doing good right now. They just need to keep it up, not get picked off, and uh, just try to keep trading towers, yeah. finding the farm on the heroes. Well, you see, obviously, a pause coming out here. Kind of, especially whenever Stay Green pauses. I always wonder. I always wonder if it's. Uh... Oh, I don't think it's anything special. <laughs> but, uh, Limp is suffering, but I mean, other than that, the team's doing pretty good. They're kind of where they like this game is still pretty even. They're both teams have what they need to take the win and to get to it. They just need to keep at um, executing their game plan. For yeah. Stay Green, you know, it's just trying to push the towers as like try not to trade. Get as many free towers as you can. Try to take team fights when you can. Do Concord when they're when it's free to them, and then just you know push eventual high ground. That's kind of what they need to do. Yeah. Rally's gonna stack this uh, his own ancient scan. So this time we'll see if they can actually kill their own their triple stack ancients this time. As uh, obviously last time it was stolen. Right as they say that Balfour sends an illusion. He'll actually spot that. So we'll see if Stay Green gets that opportunity to maybe steal it once again. But. For now, you got Dampier. Grimoire is in the works. 17 more hundred gold saved up here. On top of the lamp brand, steam boots, and blood shells that he has, of course. They're collapsing on the middle lane. Balfour, the real one, is here as well. He's still just kind of scouting things out with the illusions, though. Really getting some information. Dampier heading over to those ancients. But again, Stay Green will know that they're doing the ancients. So it's going to be interesting to see what Stay Green does if they actually go for the ancients in the end. Or not, yeah. but. I don't actually think TMSR should be stacking Ancients unless they kill them immediately because it's just a point of contention on the map. Like, uh, and they don't really want to fight, they just want to farm. And now they're just handing gold yeah. over to stay green. Yep. Just like last time. Look at Balfour using this illusion. He's boxing out the supports with the illusion even. And it's going to get them to fall back all the way. They're TPing Mass into the top T's. lane. Yeah, they want to take out this war base, make him pay. He is going to TP Flux himself full. though. Nope. He should be fine. Yeah, they're not going to flex ult. But yeah, just like something to notice. When, oh, middle lane. Yeah, Tempest actually might be in some trouble. He's getting a response. So in comes Ravener, Paul Lightning. Push there on Andromeda. That was from Flux, by the way. Tempest will fall. Seismic Slam do is not going to be used, actually, in the end. But now Andromeda, she's on the run. Torture coming over. He has chain reactions. He's going to use it right there. Did not stun Balfour, though. Nice yeah, nice step coming up on Tampiers here. And they're looking for a turn. Can he get a range for a Vampiric Flight? There's a Compel. Miss a Compel, though. And Balfour is going to be fine. So they got the kill to Tempest. So the, the the kill in Tempest in the tower, I think it might have been a tower deny top, it which was it is. Deny, yeah. But so they lost a triple stack ancient, so they got a kill, they got a tower deny. I think that's still fairly even. Um, sure, the tower is denied, but Team SR is really like they want to get the tower kills, but it's more about just getting the map control. If you kill the tier ones, that opens up the jungle to farm for the war beast, so yeah. it's good for them regardless. Though they lose a triple stack, so eh, pretty even exchange of events. Yeah. So we see right here, 15 minutes into the game. Again, very even game. Really, all three games have been very even games for the most part. But, uh, you know, then there that one fight happens for Stay Green. Or it has happened in those first two games that all of a sudden all the momentum in the world goes in their favor. So kind of wondering when and if that time is coming. Congor is going to be attempted here, so maybe this could set something up here. But uh, uh, there's no vision once again. You do not fight at the Congor pit. STMSR, yeah. you absolutely cannot. Like, Engineer, Tempest, Balfagor, uh, Flux, like, they're just gonna, it's such a bad spot to take a fight, and they're just gonna push, maybe try to get the tier 2 top, just farm. Yeah, so, Congor, uh, as far as the token, I mean, who are you giving it to here? Maybe Balfagor, so yeah. you can stay in the front, but, uh, yeah, I could even see an argument for Tempest to have it. We're going to energy field and actually Rally gets caught by that. He just portal keyed in. He is going to compel away. Oh, no, he got bursted out. Wow, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. But, yeah, he actually gets taken out right there. They kill Congo on top. So, yeah, big mistake coming out from Slicks right there. That's just wanted to really see what was happening. And that kind of that cost him his life in the end. So, they do get the Congo kill. Token of life is on Balfagor, as you suggested. And they know with that kill especially that this is going to be a tough team to stop here. So, 
They're gonna yeah. they're gonna make their way towards the middle lane here. That's actually a bigger mistake than you think it is because uh, because he's dead. That means Swindlebone can stay top and defend the tower with split push against Warbeast. If Rally doesn't do that, Swindle oh team fight mid. Yeah, they're trying to make something happen. Actually, they do get the pick on Engineer initially. Balfour Hell and coming out. Though is on the back, holding them down. And is gonna be locked in the midst of that as well. Torture and Dramatic live though. Dampier goes back in. Here comes Rally. The seismic slam is gonna go off, but Balfour just a little too tanky. And he survives in the end, so the supporting cast does fall here for TMSR. Might not be over. Rally's still on the run. He is going to be fine in the end. Warbeast is pushing the top lane while this ult is going on, at least. So it's distracting somewhat, but still a fight won by Stay Green in the end. Actually, I would favor TMSR. Yeah. Sure, it was two for one hero kills, but you defend your tower. Your Dampier survived. He got a hero kill. Uh... I, honestly, that wasn't too bad. You're delaying the game, and that's really the, that's all you have to do if you're TMSR. Yeah. Delay the game. Don't get too out resource controlled. I still don't like. St I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but like, I feel like they need to either kill their ancients better or just not stack them. Yeah. I mean, they are. <laughs> get stolen once again. You're. It's true though. I mean, you're. Uh, the three stacked ancients that we've seen so far this game, and I believe those have been all of them that they've been taken by Stay Green. So it's obviously the facts are facts. I mean, you're stacking them for Stay Green at this point. That's what you've been doing. So <laughs> let us get to a point where it's like, well, maybe we should just stop that. But uh, in the end, some more ancients stolen there by Stay Green. Torture of running into Engineer here, but Zio Freak just kind of seeing what's up. Not going to have anything further than that, though. And in the end, <coughs> we'll fall back. Keizu almost has the shrunken head. That's really big. Almost 1k gold. If they can get the two shrunken heads, I think they, I think uh, KMSR has the has the items to yeah. win this game pretty easily. Well, you know, that thing to keep in mind again, stressing as we saw with the lineup initially, and the still most certainly is there for Stay Green, the team five presence. It is one wombo combo, and before you know it, it really just throws you off. So they need to be careful about that as always. But uh, they're not going to get caught here at the bottom lane. In fact, they're mass TPing in the middle lane. They want to catch Balfour, who's by himself, actually. This is a huge chance to drop him. He goes down. Token of Life going to resurrect. There's no way he's getting out of this. Yeah, he has no escape. He is going to use the hell on New Earth. He's trying to run, regurgitate being used. Are they really not going to be able to chase him? Wow, he is going to survive. The support's coming over now. Jesse holds them off. I, I'm, 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 I'm shocked. <laughs> he actually it, lives. They used way too many crowd control tools. Yeah. And Torture actually gets picked off in response. So Flux Ultimate was used right there. Just a support, but still a response pickoff coming out here for Stay Green. And now they're going to mass push this middle lane. Wow. Yeah, it actually was pretty good for Stay Green. They got a hero kill. Surely lost a token, but they got a tower. They might get some chip damage at the mid tower, even. Yeah. That's a Torque dead. So that's one of the, split, that's one of the counter pushers, yeah. too. Yep, they're still going to be going right here. So, you do see the tower. It is taking some good damage off the bat of vulnerability already used. TMSR does not have really, I mean, much of an option here. It's you either really you go all out, look to defend this, or you're going to be giving up some racks. They do kind of jump in right there. Ravener going to be fine, though. Ravener, by the way, with an Abyssal Skull pickup. And actually, they tower. will fall back, but you see what Keizu's doing. He, he stresses this, and they are continuing to do this. And knowing to play against, he's just going to keep pushing the top lane. And he's going to get a response out of State Green. He has the Shrunken Head, by the way. He has 4,300 gold here. So Shrunken Head is going to be coming out. And you got 500-plus GP on my damp here. By the way, Rally finds Tempest in the jungle. But not much going to happen to that. So you see Minus is going the pushback build. I actually do not like this build. I think this is a Shrunken Head rush. Sure, they have Andromeda. Yeah. But the thing is, you're doing a Flux Engineer Tempest. Like, do you know how hard it is to Andro swap that Tempest? Yeah. When you when you got so many factors going on, it's a level one swap too. And with this build, it enables uh, for for TMSR to just like jump the Tempest, and he's just gonna die. There's no response if Dampier just jumps him, he's dead. So I would have preferred the Shrunken Head after the Astrolabe. Yeah. Well, we do see uh, Dampier actually the. Shrunken head for him, obviously, is going to be coming up here shortly. You look at what Flux is building, by the way. He's got a Blessed Orb into a Mighty Blade now. So he did this yesterday against Lions, going the, going the eventual Frost of Skull here. It looks like it'll be coming out. Yeah, you see, I think 
SG are starting to realize this game isn't going to end super fast. Yeah. The Reflux might have to transition more into like a semi-carry. He's going to head towards the top lane because Casey's up there. But Casey still is he's not buying the Shrunken. 5,300 gold saved up. I mean, is he actually going for something else here? Uh, I think he will just buy a Shrunken. Maybe he's still thinking. Like Maybe if the game is delayed longer, they'll go Demonic just because it's a better split push. Or maybe he'll go Puzzle Box if they don't even want to defend in base. If he buys a puzzle box, he honestly could just go hard and not even defend. Yeah. There's the shrunken on Tampier, but speaking of the defend, I mean, Keizu is knocking on the door by himself at the top lane, but he's going to start TPing right here. So Yeah, he has to shop. Yeah, there you go. He does buy the shrunken. So he doesn't show that. They don't know he has it yet going into this fight, so that, that's also another reason maybe. But here we go, Dampier jumps in on a Flux. In come the Shrunken has energy field in the background. Flux being person, but the tab is all about There's the Flux pulling! Engineer Ultimate doing some work right there, but the Legion team, they get the kill on a Flux. The Shrunken heads are still up. Warby's doing plenty of damage. Ravener's gonna fall right there, and Tabas will fall as well. Balfour's gonna take it, but it's not gonna be enough. They got the supports killed, but that's not nearly enough to win it right there. Balfour is gonna TP away, but Engineer Z-Freak, he's on the run. He's gonna try to get himself killed if anything. He's like, no, don't find me. They will find him though. Patrick coming out for Keizu, and too much sugar. They do hold in the end. And I don't want to call it breaky, but I feel like Stay Green to missed their window, and yeah. they're, 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 they're not going to be able to just keep pushing anymore. They're going to have to shift their strategy entirely. Maybe they'll just try again, but I don't. it's not going to work, and they don't have Tempest Ultimate for another 140 seconds, so they're in real right now. they got to make something happen in this game, or it's going to just end pretty soon in favor of TMSR. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you said it from the beginning. It's just that they, they need that shrunken head sure that requires some good farm, but they have those shrunken heads now, and the next tier of items going to be coming up. What did, what did Warbeast buy? The Soul's Bulwark. So he, he even has 11, another 1,100 gold on top of that. So Dan Pier, we're so used to seeing him just taking off and snowballing, but how about Keizu? You're on Warby's Torture in the meantime. What the hell is Moomiana doing way up here? He didn't He's ward aside, him. but <laughs> it might come at a cost. He's going to try to say, don't kill me, but that obviously it's not, not that big of a deal, yeah. really. Uh, it, maybe his ward will get countered. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> they see him place it at least, but... Probably not. Well, you got to figure, I mean, what is he doing up there? So I, I think Stager is smart enough of a team to maybe even pick up on that, but even if they didn't. But uh, we'll see if they do counter. It so doesn't look like it. This is the all-in, like... Uh, pushed by Stay Green, or maybe they're just taking map control, but they don't have a Tempest ulti, so it's pretty telling, at least to me, that if they don't win this fight, they're just gonna throw on the tall and go to game three. Yeah. It's possible. It is possible. They are gonna just group up here. What will happen? Stay Green. They are going to push in. Damper jumping in. Here we go. Ravener going to be the target of the choice. Ravener dropping very quickly. Energy field comes down. Ravener going to barely survive. Warby's trying to finish him off. Will finish him off in the background. Shrunken heads are off. Damper doing work as well. Flux going to be bursting down. Energy field. They're on the uh, outskirt of it, but the Shrunken heads are just doing way too much. It looks like TMSR. They are going to hold off Stay Green once again. And as you said, Sender, I think that might be it for Stay Green. They, they went all in right there to an extent. It does not work yet again. Swap on a Tempest. He tablets over the ledge, actually. He's going to be fine initially, but not for long. He goes down, double tap for Haxer, and Ravener did buy back. He was trying to get there in time, but just simply could not. So the power just proving to be too strong from too much sugar, and they are going straight for the middle lane themselves now. They know they have a pretty huge advantage here. And uh, the main reason you're seeing these fights be one, so one-sided for TMSR is I feel like SG is taking these fights poorly. Like, they're having... Flux being able to be jumped, and you don't really want that. You need, I think, the only hero that should be allowed to be jumped is the Balfour, maybe the Ravenor. Like they needed these two heroes in the front hitting the racks, everyone else sitting behind, so they could effectively do their combo. But they haven't been able to do a, a really good Flux NG combo yet yeah. in the, these key team fights that matter. Bottom tower dropping here. CKZ, yep, yeah, he is going to finish it off. He goes metamorphosis. He does have a shrunken head. Doesn't even need it though. Yeah, that's a ballsy play right there, but he's like, yeah, don't need it. I'm just going to jet on out of here. Casey gets the tower. He gets away. Everyone stays alive for TMSR, so stay green again. I mean, they, they really don't have many more chances here. They try to pull in Rally. Rally compels. He might be in some trouble, though. Yeah, he can't he use his portal key. Two more seconds. Not going to happen. He can't get it off. They flux ulti as well. They really wanted that kill, and that they do, but... So now with Rally dead for 45 seconds, he does have a buy. Oh, no, he doesn't. He actually used both of his buybacks. Holy crap. Didn't even realize that. So, uh, uh, 
They're gonna it will be Congor. a Congor, but honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Like, it's good for Stay Green. But the thing is, Stay Green have hit, hit this line. They may have this lineup, and they bought items for this mid game. And Team SR has got to the point where they have all the items they need to win team fights. And it really, they just need five heroes. It doesn't really matter if Stay Green has an additional hero, yeah. or it shouldn't matter unless TMSR make a mistake. Yeah. That was one like TM, I mean, actually, you still have potential to win. Like they, they have the Flux NG combo, Flux NG Tempest combo. It's just, it's not like the percentages of winning this game are just going down as as uh, the game progresses, and it's more and more on Tempest to win them the game. Yeah. So we see right here again, Stay Green, token of life on Ravener. Look what Case is doing once again, though, split pushing on Warbeast with that demonic breastplate now, especially. He's able to drop these towers pretty damn quickly. So Stay Green, they're like, you know, again, we, we don't care. We are all in right here. We need to make this happen. They're going to go right for the melee reacts. Keizu, he's going to go for the melee reacts as well. He looks like he might kill it, but he wanted to think about getting back to him. Vulnerability going off right there. You know, stay green side, not going to be the same. Down goes the melee racks, and here we go. Dampier already jumps in on it. Flux right there. Flux being locked down. He will he survive in the end? He's going to drop pretty quickly. Energy field probably goes off. They do kill Flux. The tab is all the bit. Warby's rather to do it, but it's stopped immediately by the swap right there from it. Drop it. Hell on Newworth going off. But the Hellborn team, they are continuing to fall. The Shurken has again proving to be too much, it looks like. Dampier gets caught by a keg stun. He is dropping actually fairly quickly right here. Ravener is it enough damage. Ravener is going to get the kill on a Dampier. And Ravener lives actually, so stay green. They actually do come out on top right there. It's a four for two exchange right there. But Warby's is still up. They get the racks. Dampier fights back though and quickly drops Engineer. So. I, I, it's hard to, I mean, I still think TMS are ultimately maybe coming out on top, there, especially at the bottom lane, but... Um, okay, so just like, there's TMSR did come out ahead in that situation, for a few re reasons being they traded Rax for Rax, but no Tempest ulti, so they can just keep the push right away. But the reason a, a buyback on Dampier was even needed is because they took the fight before Keizu reported back, so they're, they're yeah. initiating, right? But that means Keizu is TPing in while they're initiating, so that's why they lost that fight per se. That's, at least that's why a buyback is forced, but they're still in prime position to take this game. Yeah. They really should take another set of racks right here. No void up on. You do see they're making their way to the top lane, so obviously all the outer towers have of course been destroyed at this point. And uh, they are going to make their way to the top and look to push that 2500 gold on Warbeast. He still has both of his buybacks. Is the courier okay? That's going back, just delivering the TP right there. So they're not going to go for an all that push themselves by any means. And again, Ravener still has a token for four and a half minutes, of course. But obviously, Stay Green, they are very occupied now with this bottom part of the map here. And they will have to continue to do so. Uh, you know what we're going to do here, Sender? Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to restart the stream real quickly while this is a little bit of downtime here. Because uh, there, there is reports of some lag.